Okay, in this video we want to uh, look at another algorithm to find a transition matrix because a couple of videos back what we did was we found a couple of linear equations and then deduced what uh, the matrix should end up being. But we want to, uh, you know, that can be really tough if you have lots of, uh, lots of vectors in the basis. So we want to see, uh, something that kind of streamlines a lot of that work. So here is another algorithm for finding a transition matrix. So the way I've set it up here, and this is the same as it is in the notes, um, this is a transition matrix from, uh, basis B to basis B prime. So the first thing you do is you form an augmented matrix where you actually write the two matrices but in reverse order. So if you're changing from B to B prime, put B prime first and B second. Um, so form that augmented matrix in that way. And then we are going to reduce this down uh, using elementary row operations into its reduced row echelon form. Now again, because this is a basis, uh, B prime's uh, RREF is the identity matrix. So we're going to use this to get B prime down into um, reduced row echelon form. And when we do that, of course, as I just said, we'll get the identity here. But when you reduce B uh, using the same EROs, you actually end up with the uh, transition matrix you're looking for on the the right side of that augmented matrix. So you could just pull this out uh, and that would be the answer. So this is a lot, I, I think at least, this is a lot easier than trying to write those equations and then deduce what the, um, the uh, coordinate vectors are and things like that. So um, let's look at one example for that. And we're actually using the same two bases uh, that we did before, the standard bases um, and then this other one. Uh, so we already know what the answer to this is because we found that two examples ago. Um, it should be uh, 1, 1 is the first column and 2, 1 is the second column. Um, so let's go ahead and set this up though in the way that we would want. So again, because I'm finding from B prime to B, I want to set this up where I put B's vectors as columns first. And then B primes uh, vectors as columns second. Now remember, I want to use EROs to get this down into reduced row echelon form, but it already is in reduced row echelon form. So there are actually no EROs that I need um, to perform, and that means that this right here. is the transition matrix from B prime into B. So that's a pretty easy problem, right? Because we had the standard basis. Um, and that also goes to show you, if you are changing, this was something I said a couple of videos ago, if you're changing it into the standard basis, then you're going to have the identity matrix here already, so it's just going to be made up of these two vectors written as columns. Um, so that's, a, that's pretty straightforward. Now, let's do the other problem, because it's not as straightforward. Um, find the transition matrix that changes standard basis into um, basis for B prime. And so what I would do is I would put um, 1, 1, and 2, 1 here. Oops, I need to augment that. Um, and then I would put the other basis, the standard basis, right here. So I need to apply EROs to this until I get the identity. Uh, so the first thing I would do is I would do uh, row 2 minus row 1. I would leave the top row alone. When I do row 2 minus row 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. That's why we did that. Um, and then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Now when I take this row and subtract that row, I should get negative 1, 1 right there. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to negate the second row now, so I can get that to be a 1. So this should be 1, 2, 1, 0 along the top row. And it should be 0, 1, 1, negative 1 along the bottom row. 
And so then the last thing that I need to do is I need to do row one minus two row two. So when I do that, row one minus two row two is still going to leave me a one there. And row two, or I'm sorry, row one minus two row two is going to give me a zero there. Um, so let's see what we get on the this side. So row one minus two row two, one minus two ones should be a negative one. And zero minus two negative ones ought to be positive two. And then we're not doing anything to this row uh, because we already have what we want. Uh, we were already on the backwards phase of, uh, of Gaussian elimination. Um, and so therefore, now that we have the identity here, this is our answer. So the transition matrix from B to B prime should be negative 1, 2, 1, negative 1 when I'm reading it across the rows. Um, if you go back and look at the, la or the first video, um, or even in your notes, you will see that that is, in fact, the correct uh, transition matrix. So, um, again, I think that uh, this algorithm uh, right here, uh, I think this is a lot easier uh, to find the transition matrices um, than trying to do equations, um, especially trying to solve going the reverse direction. Um, you know, that can be really difficult. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know.